Welcome back to another video. My name is Gordon Frayne, and today we're answering the question of what is base crypto? As always, before we jump into the content, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button below. Hit that subscribe button as well. We're on the road to our first 1,000 subscribers, and it would mean the world if you subscribed. And hit that bell notification icon so you can get notified every time we drop a new video. We are dropping multiple videos every single week so you're going to want to get notified so you can stay up to date on all the latest moves in the crypto space and hit your crypto goals so what is base crypto and i think the first thing to make sure that we are clear on here is that base is firstly a layer two network for ethereum and base itself does not have a native token that is part of the base network. So while you have the likes of ETH, which is the gas token for the Ethereum network, or you have something like ARB for the governance token on the Arbitrum network, base does not actually have a base token. So let the buyer beware. If you come over to CoinMarketCap and you search for base, there is not actually a base token. Base protocol here and this base, these are not affiliated with the base network for Ethereum. So do not get that confused. That is the first thing you want to be aware of. And do not purchase any token that claims to be base because it is likely a scam. So what is base? Well, it is a low cost builder friendly Ethereum layer 2 solution built to bring the next billion users on chain. As we can see here, um, you know, it's an Ethereum layer two. The whole idea here, again, with the likes of Base and its predecessors like um, Polygon and Arbitrum is to create a layer two scaling solution that is more efficient and more cost effective when it comes to executing transactions for Ethereum. Because as we know, Ethereum gas fees can get extremely high, especially at times where the network is very congested and when we have a lot of people wanting to do transactions on ethereum so base aims to be a scalable layer 2 solution for the ethereum network it is an open source solution and it's also powered by optimism so optimism's op stack and optimism rollups are part of the essence of what base does um and it is basically leveraging optimistic rollups for executing transactions and scaling them up to finally settle on Ethereum's layer one. So scaled by Coinbase is another big factor here because the base network um, was basically incubated by Coinbase and has a lot of backing and funding behind it from Coinbase, which is the largest US cryptocurrency exchange uh, and one of the largest centralized exchanges in the world. So the base network has a lot of uh, capital, but also a lot of intelligent people behind it who are part of the larger Coinbase team and they are working to create this layer two solution to bring, you know, the next billion users onto Web3. So again, showing us how it is 10x times cheaper than Ethereum, um, empowered by Coinbase with 130 billion worth of assets on the platform. Again, using Optimistic's um, OP stack for optimistic rollups onto ethereum and once again we're seeing some of the uh the projects here on the other chains and other protocols that are cross compatible with the base network again another benefit of base being a um an ethereum layer 2 solution is it is compatible with the ethereum virtual machine and a lot of the stuff that happens with you know, DEXs and other solutions that are also cross-compatible with the EVM. So taking MetaMask, for example, Base is a network that is now default on the MetaMask wallet. You can leverage the Base mainnet when using your MetaMask wallet, and it is naturally integrated with MetaMask where you can execute transactions, you can interact with DEXs, you can send and receive funds very seamlessly with the Base network oftentimes for only one or two cents per transaction. So it is very cost effective and it is very efficient when it comes to executing transactions 
from a network and a blockchain perspective. So adding to that, we can see that BASE has been growing um, rapidly in popularity. If we come over to DeFi Llama, we can see here um, by going to the chains area, we can see that BASE is now the sixth largest protocol in terms of total value locked on its network. And while all the rest of the top five chains here have been decreasing in terms of TVL over the past one month, we can see that BASE is actually up over 20% uh, month over month when it comes to total value locked within its ecosystem. So about, um, what do we have? 1.418 billion in total value locked on <clears throat> the BASE chain. So again, if we dive into BASE itself, we can see some of the larger protocols here that are contributing to all of that TBL. Aerodrome is one of the, if not the largest, decentralized exchange on the base network. So doing a lot of interesting stuff when it comes to um, supporting uh, base native tokens and also other interoperable tokens on base network. We've got Uniswap, obviously one of the largest decentralized exchanges in the entire world, which you know also supports base and it has about 206 million worth of TVL there. Extra Finance, another leveraged farming platform, which is compatible with base. They've got about just under 100 million. Uh, we've got Beefy, another yield aggregator. And uh, we're also got compatibility with uh, lending and borrowing protocols like Aave and like Compound. And they've got a significant amount of TVL on the base network as well. So lots of exciting stuff going on here. And we can really see how the growth has taken off for base even in just the past two or three months. So we can see that right at the end of February here, at the beginning of March, we only had just under 500 million in total value locked across the entire base network. And then as we went through the month of March and now we're at the end of April, we've seen the TVL go from under 500 million to over 1.4 billion in the space of two months time. So basically tripling the amount of TVL, we did actually peak up at 1.65 billion. So we tripled the amount of TVL locked <clears throat> on the base network from the beginning of March to the end of April in just a two month time span. So gaining a lot of popularity, there's been a lot of good press around base. Um, you know, arguable maybe how much of the actual TVL is coming from new sources versus uh, Coinbase. Uh, helping to lock up certain funds on base to uh, bump up those numbers. But um, <clears throat> I think it's clear that there has been a lot of hype around base over the past couple of months and TVL has definitely increased as a result. Part of that TVL increase has also been thanks to some of the meme coins that have been native to base. And we've seen a few very popular options here like Brett, Degen and Toshi, which are the three largest meme coins on base by market cap <clears throat> these three meme coins in particular have had some pretty good success over the past couple of months um meme coins you know as an entire narrative have had a big run-up in q4 of 2023 and q1 of 2024 and brett dgen and toshi um making up um about six seven hundred a uh, million worth of market cap here between them have been the largest movers here as base native meme coins. So again, we're yet to see maybe some larger um, native tokens to the base chain to have more real world utility, but the market for meme coins over the past few months has seen uh, the rise of a number of these prominent meme coins on the base network. And they obviously... Um, you know, we've seen a bit of a pullback in the past week or two, but they've had a big run up over the course of the past month or so. So lots of interesting stuff going on with base. And hopefully this video has served to give you a bit of a better understanding of the underlying protocol, what it is and what it does, and certainly what it is not. So again, be aware that there is no base token that you can actually purchase for the base network. Uh, that's not to say that there might be one in the future. However, I don't think they have plans to implement or release any kind of token, at least in the near future. So do not be scammed. You know, keep your wits about you 
and make sure that you're not purchasing any token that claims to be base or that is associated with the base network. Um, we've got a number of meme coins, as I said, that have risen in prominence over the past couple of months. I do think we will continue to see um, increased adoption for base over the course of the next 12 to 18 months. Um, Aerodrome itself, as the leading DEX on base, has been uh, growing itself and has been very popular in terms of the amount of TVL and the amount of yield farming that's going on on Aerodrome. Again, as we can see, Aerodrome itself has seen um, an increase of almost 20% in terms of TVL month over month. And, um, you know, a lot of interesting stuff going on with Aerodrome when it comes to um, support for other tokens and all the stuff going on on base network. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. Hopefully now you have a clearer picture of what base is. Obviously with the backing from Coinbase, they have a lot of, um, you know, a lot of capital behind them and really have set a solid foundation for success over the course of the next couple of years, in my opinion. As always, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button on your way out. Hit that subscribe button as well. We're on the road to our first thousand subscribers and it would mean the world if you subscribed and hit that bell notification icon so you can get notified every time we drop a new video. We've got videos coming pretty much every single day on the channel. So you're going to want to get notified when they drop so you can stay on top of this rapidly evolving crypto landscape and hit your crypto goals. As always, we'll catch you in the next one.